a heavy burden is right. I <laughs> just got an achievement for that. Oh, man. Okay. I don't know. A lot of people don't like Sarah. Okay. But... I hate to ask this, but... Are we there yet? <laughs> We're not far. You've got to start. Look, Sarah. You can get through this. We both will. But... I'm not okay. Just try. None of us are that? okay! None of us are! She just needs a little time, Clem. Leave her be for a bit. Luke just lost his brother. Kenny just lost his wife. I don't know about this. Rebecca just lost her husband. The way she is, she's gonna cause problems. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then... Something changed. Look, I just... I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I... I don't mean to sound harsh. It's just the way things are. It's okay, I get it. Things aren't always simple. And just because you got her out of there today, doesn't mean you saved her. Trust me. I know. I tried to save Jamie too, but she... gave up. Luke, what do you think about this? I just... I can't believe it. As soon as you guys said go, I was the first one up on the roof. Like I had already made up my mind. Luke, you can't let it eat away at you. Well, I can't forget it. I dragged my sister across four states. And every morning, she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her, or push her, or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time, walkers cornered us, forced us up to the roof. And, and when they kept coming, I, I couldn't make her jump, couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted, and I left her there. Jumped to the next building over by myself. You left your sister? Jane, I'm really sorry. It killed me for a long time. But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell. When all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Is she the voice of Elizabeth from Bioshock Infinite? Sarah was that way too. Jane? No regard for her own safety. Or ours. Sarah and Jamie aren't the same person. We don't know if she'll end up like that. People don't change. It sounds a lot like her, but I, I don't think it's the same Come person. Come on, let's get back to your friends. Hmm, I have to look that up, though. That interests me. Oh, man. <sighs> so this episode has been like freaking Jane backstory episode so far. I'm... I kind of want to move on from it a little bit. Son of a bitch. You found him! Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Sarah, how you doing, hon? That's okay, sweetie. Whenever you're ready, I'm just glad you're here. But wait, wait. Where's Nick? <sighs> uh, Rebecca, how about we, uh, we go for a walk for a minute? Let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about, too. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> hmm. What? I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. But I was hoping you might know. Does Luke know anything about babies? What, 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 what kind Has of a he, question is this? I don't know. Mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? Just in case? No, I don't think so. I was afraid of that. Does Luke know anything know about anything. babies? Mike sure as hell doesn't. <laughs> I don't even know how to ask Jane. And that just leaves... Kenny. He... Brought Sarita in there not long after you left. 
I don't know if he's done it yet. I ain't seen him since. He might have turned with her. God, Kenny. I think he's doing well. We need to get him to come out. I agree, but with the way he's acting, I don't know if we should be ganging up on him. I think if it's just you, someone no, who knows well. No! You might be able to get through to him. No, 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 no! <sighs> he hates me, because he knows what I did. That's a terrible freaking decision. No, I'm not doing it. I choose the other choice, to not approach Tent. Is there another choice? Why? Why am I allowed to freely roam here? When there's only one... Ugh, you got me freaking kidding. <sighs> Funny that the Memorial Museum is pointed towards the tent where somebody's dying. Eh, fucking... Okay, let's go. God, don't make me do this. I know... Telltale, what do you guys have up your sleeves? Dead. Zombie. Kenny's dead. Um. No, he's not. I wanted to check on you. Make sure you're okay. This is bad. She didn't want me to wait. But I had to. In case by some crazy chance. She didn't come back. That beautiful face. So I waited. I'm not saying Thought anything. Maybe she'd be different. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating every day. Duck, cut ya. Sarita, no peace, no rest. The punches just keep coming. Why the hell could Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. No, 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 that's not true. That baby's almost here, and Rebecca needs your help. Yeah, I guess she does. <laughs> well, that was easy. Now, nah, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. Don't be stupid. It could be infected. Oh, no. Well? Oh, shit. Does that mean what I think it does? Oh, what are we God. Supposed to do? Oh, God. We should see what's going on. Bye, Sarita. God. Man. Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Does that mean the baby's coming? Are oh, you stupid? Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. What do we do? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her, too. Oh, my God. Now you got no choice but to lock down and ride it out. It hurts more than before. Is something wrong? What kind of stuff do babies need when they're being born? Kenny, come on, you gotta focus. Right, right, sorry. Clean water for one thing, and blankets. And we gotta get out of this damn cold, too. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. What? We're gonna travel right now? The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay, then. Kenny, you, uh, you stick with Rebecca, 
and I will check the perimeter for walkers. All right, farewell, expendable characters. Sarah, Sarah you just stay here with Rebecca and Kenny, okay? Clem, I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mac a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking, how do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. And she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. She's helped us so far. Yeah, no, you're right. Maybe it's nothing. Just something to think about. Okay, we're looking for warm blankets, clean water, disinfectant. That all sound right? Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. I'll go with Mike and Bonnie. I've had enough Jane right. time for, let's get going. for right, right now. Alright, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast, and let's be careful. Maybe I should have checked on Sarah first, but I don't know. I didn't know if check on Sarah meant I would be stuck there with her. I don't necessarily want that. Plus, this looks I guess exciting. The place there. Fuck. It's a wreck. You ain't even been inside yet. Just look at it. Glass all blown out, walkers hanging around. Well, no way to find out until we go and check it out for ourselves. Maybe we can still find something. Yeah, maybe. Sorry, I just really want sticking with y'all to work out. And it's been hard so far. How about you make it up to us by helping out with those walkers up there? Yeah, all right. Take out his knee first. Jane showed me a good way to attack him. If you take out a knee, they always fall. And then you can stab him in the back of the neck. Hmm. A good smack to the head's always done fine for me. Yeah, well... <laughs> That's because you can just take him out in one shot. Oh. Always done fine for you, huh? So the knee is about halfway down the leg. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's do this before more of them show up. Watch out for the broken glass. It's all over. Okay. Somebody's already been through here. Guess that's not a surprise. Every place yeah. on Earth somebody's something been through. Left. Let's check it out. Let's be fast. We need to look fast so we can get back to the others. Let's just take a sweep. I really don't want to go back empty-handed. What happened to your ear, dude? Oh, man. Keep one eye on the woods while we're in here. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. I watch this side, you watch the other. Deal. Do you think these work? Nah, they're just for show. Be handy, though. Also really loud. Good point. Hmm. So, so far I like this episode more than the last one, but... You think maybe they say that stuff about water and blankets just to get people out of the way? I don't know. Well, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. And you didn't have to come with me. No, I wanted to. Never mind. I just, I think the first two episodes of the season were really good. Empty. And, uh, these, the, this one and the last one so far aren't really measuring up for there me. There's sure been some animals through here. I sure hope we can find something to take back. Me too. Oh, that was it? The great, great character development there. I know nothing about Mike. I was hoping to learn some more. Nothing. Great. And this is what I mean. Like, hey, it's look. like the episodes no, aren't as deep. Not so much. Unless you want some broken glass. I don't know. I mean, I'm mainly comparing it to season one. Whenever you had like a walk around sequence like this, you got to know the characters better. But it's like in season two so far, it's... I don't know. There's just not enough... The characters aren't satisfying okay. enough for me. I sure don't me. like being near a graveyard with the world the way it is now. Who are you Where talking are you to? Now? You're in a graveyard all the time. Yeah, true enough. How can you hear each other? You're so far away. Lee would have loved this place. Hmm, don't talk about Lee. Alright, Bonnie, let's get to know you, I guess. Do you see anything good? 
Not so far, but let's give the place a good going over. Great. That's it. All right, look for other things we can click on. So far I'm Oh, look. It's a war coat. Hey, look at this. An old coat. Nice. Good fan clam. You should hang on to that. It's going to get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. Kenny said we need blankets. It's not really a blanket, but but it should do the trick. Good call. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad about everything that happened. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. Not that I blame you if you did. I haven't always used the best judgment. Whatever. It seems like you're with us now. That's what matters most. Clem found a jacket. That's great, but uh, isn't Gray the, you know, uh, we can't put Rebecca in a confederate coat. Oh my oh, god. I even think about that. Guess it's better than nothing. Dude, are you fucking kidding me? It's the zombie apocalypse. She's giving birth. I promise you she doesn't care. I promise she doesn't care. Oh, God. Come on. What were you working on over here? Okay. I guess I'll go over there and open up the ticket booth thing then. Or what's this thing over here? There's an additional item. But I, I can't click on it because it's within the radius of the other one. Okay. Nothing but junk in there. Trust me. What do you mean? I feel like Mike's hiding something now. Go, Clem. Over here. Water. Bottled and clean. That's just what we need. What does it say? Simple something? It's locked. You want to kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Yeah. Maybe. You know, if somebody was small enough, they could maybe squeeze through that gap there. What? I could try to pry it open some more, but I don't know if that'll help much. No, I mean, maybe... Fuck. All right, all right. I'll go. Thanks, Clem. Just open the door from the other side. Mike will carry those things out. Might be a bit heavy for you. God, I swear... I'm stuck. Great. Okay. Maybe I push from... Of course. Of course. Time to queue again. Dylan! Get it, get it! What? What? Well... That happened. Thanks, Jesus, Mary Mike. Joseph. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, no problem. I'm so sorry about that, Clementine. We should have been more careful. Why don't you just kick the door down in the At first place? We got something to bring back. I'll keep checking the other room. Let's get this water. Yeah, don't. I'll, I'll get one of them. Oh God. <laughs> Come on, Clementine. Hey, I got this. Great, now Mike's completely incapacitated if we get attacked. Perfect. That looks pretty heavy. Uh, that's all right. I know it looks like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. Carver was crazy, but at least his shelves were always full. We're gonna have to be conservative as hell. What do you mean? Nothing. Nothing. Just... That baby's gonna be hard on everyone. Especially Rebecca. I know. And between you and me, she's not looking too good. Hey, guys! Come on. Stick close. Don't leave the water. 
You just walked on in like it owned the place. Figure it'd make a nice meal. We can eat raccoon? I'd eat the shit out of that raccoon. <laughs> Not like, I mean, just, just that I'd be really happy to eat that raccoon. <laughs> I'm starving. Fresh meat would go a long way with Rebecca. Yeah. Shoot! Don't let it get away! Oh, oh come on. Uh, eh. Over here! Look at that thing. Dude, raccoons are mean. Oh, oh, shit. Shoot. Dang it. Don't. Not with the walkers out there. I'm even hungrier than I was before. <sighs> How'd I get to a place where I'm sad I'm not eating raccoon? Well, I'm sort of glad it got away. It had a family. Yeah, me too. Come on, let's just get this back to Rebecca and the others. Could we have gotten that raccoon? We don't have much time to waste. You never know. You never know with Telltale. I'm not supposed to be in labor yet, Kenny. What if something's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. How long did your son take? How you doing, Beck? Okay. I'm okay. How did you guys make Museum's out? Museum's a bust. All glass walls shattered. It'd be impossible. And it was picked over pretty good. Lots of folks probably been there before us. We found some water, though. Oh, that's good. Nice work. Thanks, Kenny. You're, good. you're back. Good. We save all of that for Rebecca. Anybody else gets a thirst, he can go to the river. I'm pretty sure that's more than enough for all of us for a while. Hey, Clem. Poor Kenny. God, I really feel bad. Glad you made it back safe. How are you feeling? Scared. And it hurts. <laughs> I wish Alvin was here. <sighs> Alvin would be proud of you. Alvin would be really proud of you right now. You think so? I hope you're right. I know it's a waste of time. But I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. How am I ever going to do this without him? Duh. Alvin told me that he thinks the baby's going to be a girl. Oh, yeah? Did he say that? That big dummy never did have a sense for these things. I think he said that. I've got a feeling this one's a boy. You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, oh, shit. I don't know about I that. This. I'm worried that we ain't seen Jane in a while. Go check on her, would you? Yeah, go on ahead. I'll be fine. Wait, I got I gotta check up on Jane anyway. All right, hang on, guys. I gotta reset my recording. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Let's look at the fountain. Fallen but never forsaken. Okay. How symbolic of this episode and not leaving people behind and all of Jane's lectures and whatnot. Hey. Don't. Why are you making me make a choice there? Let's talk to Kenny. Are you okay, buddy? Are you okay, Kenny? Sure. Why wouldn't I be? That's a rough question. Okay. Uh, here we go. We found an old coat. Sorry, you know, about the color. You really think I care about that? Exactly. Whoa, look at Clementine's eyes! Did you see that? That was some freaky shit! Whoa, hey, look at Clementine's eyes! Did you see that? Clementine. <laughs> Did you see her eyes? <laughs> I don't know why that tickled me, but 
<laughs> it's like it's like she had the I'm right face. I don't know. How are you feeling, Rebecca? I knew it was gonna hurt, Clem. But I didn't think it would hurt like this. Ugh, eyes rolling to the back of her head. Ugh, it's hilarious. Ugh, she went into a trance. She went to control a falcon or something. Game of Thrones. Alright, Luke, what's up? Hey, Luke. Hey, Clem. Nice job finding those bottles of water. That's a good score. We couldn't have brought them back without Mike. Yeah, he's, uh, he's pretty strong. That's for sure. He thinks we don't like him. No, it's not that. I just think he's more eager than he has a right to be. Okay, he wants acceptance before he's earned it. Does that make sense to you? I guess so. He is eager. I don't think it's a bad thing, though. I think there's some people around here who could be more eager, if you know what I mean. Anyway, I like how everyone's kind of sulking in their own little corners right now. You'd think we'd all be kind of ready to help on the alert and whatnot, but I guess not. Why do I still have bullets? What are you thinking about? I'm worried about Rebecca. Having a baby can be rough enough on a woman, even in a nice, clean hospital. Does she even have a shot out here? Nope. All the shots are in the hospital. The drugs and stuff. She doesn't have that. So nope. No shots. Come on, Clem. Go catch up with Jane. But I want to talk with people. I want to look at stuff. Hey, Mike, Luke says that you're eager. You on the way back. No, but thanks for carrying the water. I didn't realize how tired I was until I put it down. I need to rest up a bit. Seems yeah. like folks appreciated it, though. That's good. Maybe they'll come around after all. Yeah, maybe you should let them come around on their own. Luke says you're eager. Just thought I should bring it up again. I hope one of these buildings is safer than out here. Uh, I hope Jane finds something good over there. Am I really going all the way over there? Oh, okay, it's not that far. Wow, we went all the way to the Civil War Museum? It looks closer on the map. I mean, it doesn't look that close. It's like the farthest thing away on the map, except for this downtown over here. So five is the riverfront. Oh, uh, what's the rest of this stuff? There's a Civil War graveyard. Where the hell's that? Where are these numbers? It says that there's... Huh. This looks like where we are right now. Yeah. Well, what are these numbers? Th these numbers are not located on the map. What a crappy map. Oh, there it is. Okay, I spoke too soon. So that's the Civil War graveyard. Oh, that's that was right outside the museum, of course. Five is the riverfront. Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. So these one, one and two are just the observation deck and the historical ruins. I thought I was going to talk about like what downtown is this over here? Please, please proceed to the following designated evacuation center. Mandatory evacuation. Vacated area. Closed until further notice. Wow, they really. They really went to town on this sign right here. This one too. <laughs> okay. We gotta let all the Civil War reenactment visitors know. Well, not reenactment. I don't know why I said that. Museum visitors. We gotta let them know the zombie apocalypse hey, is happening, Sarah, so we're closed. You know, Rebecca's starting. They were going to leave me, weren't they? Yes, they were, but I stopped them. Uh. Of course not. Luke tried really hard to get you to come with him. How come you didn't leave me? I don't know, cause I'm a softie. We're friends. Say it. Because we're friends. I could never be that good of a friend. I know. I just want my dad. I know. When he... when he gets here, we should all go back to the cabin. We're safe there. He's not 
coming. Ugh. Sarah, your dad. You know he isn't coming, right? Sarah? Hey, I think that's all she can take for now. She'll be all right. Rebecca. You are one to talk. Of all the people to tell Clementine that. Alright, let's follow Jane. Man, Sarah is really bugging me right now. Like, I... I get that she's fragile and everything, but... Man. 